to get ready for the bond, I've taped a playing card to the table, cut some card strips as an applicator, and prepared some tape strips so I don't have to deal with that. It's all about time. The lid gets clogged sometimes. But you apply a bead across the strip. This is an alcohol rag. Just damp, denatured alcohol. And now I'm ready to apply the glue. To get it on the applicator, you just take a little bit of it on the edge of the card. Now to apply it to the model, we're looking for a butt joint. So I go with the glue on the, on the red side, into the airplane, pull it out through the gap, and you're just wiping the glue off on the edge of the foam. A little at a time. What you're looking for is just the edge to be glossy. What we're trying to avoid here is the glue squeezing out onto the surface because it's hard to remove. Now that I've got it all shiny, I wipe the edge, use the alcohol rag to clean my finger, wipe it off with the dry rag, and then move on to the next one. And this goes on until I get all the way around. Now, Uh, if you have, um, if you can't work fast, it's better to do the deeper cuts first. That would be this one and this one, and save those for later. But I'm going to go for it and try the whole thing. You can wipe off the excess this way, then do that. Wipe it off with a dry rag. Move on to the next one. You start by applying the tape at the widest point. Stick it to the model. You gotta rub it down. You can't let it come loose like that. And I do the widest ones first to draw everything together. Just apply the tape, pull the sides together, and stretch the tape just a bit. Push it down to get the butt joint flush and just keep going. What my thumb is doing is making sure that the two surfaces meet flush. Now that I'm even with now that I'm even with this side, I can flip it over and do this other wide joint. You can see the foam and the, the glue is already starting to foam, so I have to work quickly. There. Now from here, we're just going to go all the way around. That's how you would do the back end. The front end, you can put the plastic piece on it, get all the ends in it, and push it together. And it helps draw it all up. That's why the only reason I'm doing all the bonds at one time. Because I've got the advantage of this nose ring. Now at this point I'm not using the thumb anymore to line the pieces. I'm actually reaching inside holding them together while I pull the tension on the tape and adjust that nose ring. We're not going to leave this a spot of glue too close to my surface, my gluing surface. Just keep going around, drawing it together. It's time to start a new row. Move over. Adjust the ring a little bit. It, it tries to get off. We'll have to wipe off the inside of the ring because it's not time for the ring to be bonded to it yet. 
It's just helping us hold the hold the ends together. Up, oh, I didn't push. I didn't rub it down enough. Here we go. Having the tape strips ready is a large advantage. Keep working your way to the nose. It won't be long and this plastic nose ring is going to be in my way and I'll remove it. And by now I'm getting to the longer strips of tape. Just in time too because we're coming up on more bonds. You can do two bonds. Ah, rub it down, rub it down. Two bonds. The, with the same strip of tape big time saver and it helps you take the tape off later I'll we'll get into that in just a minute rub it down pull it together move on now about an hour ago I put this one together what I've got is a hair blow dryer on a stand because I normally work alone. Turn the fan on. And you need to feel that the tape's getting hot. It comes right off. Doesn't hurt the foam. You gotta keep moving because it makes your fingernails get hot. But there's no damage to the foam at all. You see it, it works pretty good. Maybe you can go get somebody to hold it for you while you peel the tape off. This is the best way to remove the tape. Whenever I prepare this tape, the tape tab, I fold it over a piece so I'd have something to hang on to. Makes it very easy. After reviewing the video, I see I missed a few things. Whenever you make your cuts, don't use ink pens. It's better to cut right through the pattern and avoid any marks at all because you'll see, you see all the red here winds up showing up. Now if you're working on your own design, this is the nose ring that I made for this short kit. And it, it fits right on, but you can see how wide it is. Now if you're working on your own, you can use a funnel, or if the model's small enough, you can use something like a paper cup to draw to draw the the nose together. Now, the prototype that's this little jet here. You can see the the nose ring has been trimmed considerably to save on weight. The short kit will come with the canopy, the pilot, and the nose ring, along with the plants. Um, this is the Sabre version, and I'm currently working on on a MIG version. This would be the nose ring for it, and the canopy is a MIG as well. <laughs> 